Hey, it's Meg. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a journal with me for day six of the Junk Journal January Challenge. Today's prompt is inspiration. So the first thing that popped into my head when I thought of inspiration was the various like art journal-y sketchbooks that I've been working on the past few months. All very abstract and just kind of playing with different materials and things. But what I thought I would do would be maybe to use some bits and pieces, like some ideas and things from here as some inspiration. So I'm thinking maybe like this brown paper with some leaves and maybe like some collaged textures and things with bits of washi tape and um, bits of paint. But really I just kind of wanted to have a bit of a play with some of my supplies. So if you don't know, last year uh, my friend Daisy and I did a podcast that was called the Craft and Noom podcast um, and you can listen to season one. I'll leave the links down below. It's all about kind of just like journaling, creativity. We just have a general kind of chit chat. Um, but we had an interview with Kaylee Gray, who you might be familiar with, um, an artist. She's just released um, her first book. And we had a chat all about inspiration because um, I really wanted to talk to her about her views on inspiration because she has what might be more of a controversial view because I feel like one of the most common questions is normally like, oh, you know, where do you find inspiration? What's inspiring to you? And um, her view is essentially like, you need to like do the work in order to kind of be inspired almost a bit like that quote that says that um, inspiration has to find you working, which I think is really interesting because sometimes people can get stuck in a trap of just kind of scrolling on like social media or like looking for ideas on Pinterest to almost like have a good enough idea of what you want to do before you do it. And I think there's a lot of value in just kind of doing things without necessarily knowing that you have a full idea of what you want to do. Um, for instance, I've got no idea what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of drawing patterns with this ink. But, you know, it's almost like through play in your art or in your junk journal that you kind of find out what you want to do uh, and how you come up with ideas, even of things that you might not have thought to do before. So I think there's a lot of value in just kind of just starting with... Um, with with journaling, with junk journaling, any kind of art or creativity. So yeah, if you haven't listened to that episode, um, I will leave it linked down below, but it's a really interesting conversation um, and I think you will get a lot from it. The other paper I've brought out is this tissue paper, but it's a little bit shiny, so I'm not quite sure how this ink is going to take to it and whether it will dry on it or not, but we'll see because I think if this works on this then it will be quite a nice effect and I'm going to put something underneath because it's going it's going through <laughs> so let's just pop that there for now okay so I think it's going to stick onto it but I've now just got ink on my table that I'm gonna have to clean up later so I'm just going to there's nothing really fancy with this. It's literally just like a very basic uh, leaf shape. It's almost inspired a bit by um, Rachel from Roxy Creations. Um, her video that she did on mark making as part of the Junk Journal January um, collab that we did with different techniques. It kind of reminds me of that. I'm just sort of making different leaf shapes on this paper and I hope that this dries nicely because this I think will be a nice textural element especially because it's a bit see-through so I think it will be really interesting the way that this hopefully dries on a page like when you glue it down hopefully it should have that like translucent element to it so I'm just gonna do a couple more of these and then I might have to go away and just quickly dry this so that we can come back and that wasn't a very good leaf shape at all, was it? We could dry this and then come back and collage with it in my 
journal. So these have now dried so I've got some on brown paper and then thankfully this shiny tissue paper it did end up drying on this so I'm excited to see how this will look once I put it in my journal. So let's see so I think I might use maybe a combination of these and I think this could be quite nice to perhaps layer across another element so I have this book page here so I want to include this here and I think I might just kind of stick it across the the middle of the page perhaps about here-ish and what I'll do because this is a accordion journal is that I will I won't cut off the excess I will just um fold it round so that it becomes part of the pages underneath this section. Don't know if I like that, but again, it's one of those problems for future me to deal with um, and just adds something extra to our pages on the back as we are working on the pages on the front here. And I'm just going to fold this to make sure that it is stuck down properly. And so there you can see that's how our spread would look if it was just a normal journal page. And then obviously it folds out and this is kind of how it looks in context. So now what I want to do is layer on this tissue paper and I'm not sure how well it's going to blend in, but I've kind of messed up on the bottom here. So I'm going to rip that section off and just kind of focus on this top section here. And so I kind of want it to be maybe like that. And then I'm hoping that it's gonna blend in quite nicely on my page. Okay, so I'm just going to come in and add some extra collage elements just for a little bit more texture on the page. And to be honest, I'm finding the sticker from yesterday's prompt a little bit distracting. So I'm just going to cover it up on this page because I just don't think that it really fits with everything else that we've got going on. There we go, and I might add the stamp along there too. And then I might add this one backwards. And then this scrap that I just pulled out before, I think is interesting because Discover kind of encapsulates the whole like finding inspiration whilst you're doing things. So I might just include that maybe there. And then maybe we'll add some washi tape as well underneath. And then I'm just going to glue this little snippet onto, onto here. And I'm kind of making a little collage cluster here as I go. And even though this paper is the same color as everything else, it is a slightly different color, but it's also um, adding slightly different texture as well. And then again, some of my white pen just for some just for a few pops within this piece here maybe i'll do some like faux stitching so it looks like it's been stitched well it won't look like it's been stitched but it's that kind of zigzaggy pattern that looks a bit like sewing and I might just carry it on a little bit as well, but it just adds that texture. So if you don't have a sewing machine, you can kind of pretend and give the illusion of the effect that that would give. And then I think I might just add some more detail washi here, just a tiny little bit of it, maybe just coming out from underneath this section here. So I have this little piece of printed vellum and I think that it might add a nice pop of colour to this side of the page and become part of the collage cluster that we've got going on over here. So I'm just going to gently put it underneath and then I'll probably just come back in with my white pen just to add it over the top. Okay, so that's everything for today. I think I'm quite happy with how this has turned out. And it's funny because I literally had no idea what I wanted to do with this page 
and this is what has happened just through playing with the different papers seeing like what different collage elements i wanted to do finding the random words on my desk things like that so i hope you've enjoyed journaling along with me and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys